Today we're bending a three-point saddle with Racketeer's Hoppy Bender. Let's get into it. All right, on the bottom of the handle on this bender, there's a three-point saddle chart. So you just read the numbers and figure out what the depth is that you need. Today we're going to bend a two-inch three-point saddle, and it's going to go ahead and give us those numbers, and that number is six. So we're going to mark our pipe out in six-inch intervals, and that little red seam in the center line, and it gives us the shrinkage. We're going to go ahead and get our pipe marked six at 12 and at 18 and then we're going to go ahead and uh, scribe that all the way around the pipe and the bender actually comes with a marking uh, sleeve but i lost mine so I'm doing it the old-fashioned way and first thing we're going to want to do is we need to set the swing stop and since we're bending a three-point saddle we're going to go ahead and set that to 22 and a half degrees right there so we're going to put that there tighten it down and that's going to be where we bend back our uh, first bend. Um, there's a little arrow right there on the side, and you want to line it up with that notch right there. So I got my first bend, bam, that's 22 and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the pipe out. I got to set the swing stop back to 45. I'm going to flip the pipe, put a 45 in it. And then what I got to do is I got to uh, flip it back around and put, put it back to 22 and a half. I got a bum shoulder right now, so um, I'm having to lean on the pipe to bend it because I can't pull with my arm right now and there we go that's the third bend and boom perfect three-point saddle uh kick 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 and uh is exactly two inches and looks good from my house guys